me. And I want to shout out our faith King Cole, you hear me? I gotta shout you all my cause you're a real you hear me? A lot of thoughts are doing all over what that stand up guy, you hear me? He should be the next big thing. Bigger than Sean Cotton, bigger than all them bad TV, all that. You hear me? Yeah, y'all need to tune in to him, man. That's a real soldier, man. For real. To salute you, man. All facts, King Cole, you hear me? For real, man. What did I tell y'all? What did I say? What have we always said on this channel? Stay true to what you know. Stay true to what you love. And everything will come to fruition. People will start noticing, eyes will be open, and people will come accustomed to what it is you're doing. Shout out to that man, Baton Rouge Slim. I really appreciate you, brother, for real. I'm some words of encouragement. But yeah, man, with that being said, kick that intro for me one time. Believe What's going on today, folks? It's your boy King KO back with another video. And for today's topic, man, I'm very, very excited for today, man. We got that boy Bad and Rush Slim. For the most exciting thing, as y'all can see him going across the screen right now. Then we also got to touch on, you know, that boy uh, uh, Tech. We got to touch on main music. We also got to touch on, you know what I'm saying, P Money. We got to dive into that man's Darius Baisley out of Oklahoma City Thunder. Shea Gilgis Alexander, just like a little fat flashback. So, you know, the Thunder boys, the Thunder youngins and whatnot. And then we also got to dive into Fat Chopo. You know, my guy, man, the stand-up guy who stand alone. You know, him and, him and Baton Rouge got a lot of slim, got a lot of similarities, man. They both, they be by themselves a lot. You know, they stand on their gangster by themselves like you're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? If you can't thug till you're lonely, you ain't really doing nothing out here. You ain't really thugging like you say you is. You ain't pushing no lines, pushing no wax like you say you is if you can't handle any type of issue by yourself you ain't talking about nothing you know what i'm saying and that's the reason why we got the utmost respect for these two dudes you know what i'm saying but on the cool man this uh baton rouge slim interview well uh that's coming up i'm really looking forward to this one family like i'm very excited about this one you know and also baton rouge slim shout me out on his uh instagram live man i couldn't appreciate that more i couldn't show that man how much i appreciate that man all i can say man is man much love much support keep grinding keep going up 100 100 we just want to see you win you a real one my guy like we done said many a times before you know what i'm saying and we only want to see real ones eat like real talk real talk but uh, man it's, it's just even that much more exciting no one is coming on the cusp of the g money video i'm putting out but let's check it out and in promotion as me getting up doing that and to everybody who repost my you know with me you know what i'm saying that's all our work you hear me that we doing you feel me we did work that that we doing together you know what i'm saying y'all y'all reposting Screaming my 21,000. That wasn't just me, that was y'all, you hear me? Thank y'all for that. You feel me? Cause these paying for screams and all kinds of make this go up, you hear me? I appreciate everybody that screamed. I appreciate everybody that went check my everybody that me. And I won't allow that against your ball. I don't give a you ain't no gangster. You can be a gangster. Still a bunch you up. I got that ball. Took a ball ball. Better than me. Some I try to run out on me. Run. I ran so I don't. Through that section with my sister and West. Looking for your thumb. All you niggas. Shout out all faith. King Cole, you hear me? I got to shout you all my because you're a real. You hear me? A lot of thoughts are doing ball or what? That stand up guy, you hear me? He should be the next big thing. Bigger than Sean Cotton, bigger than all them bad TV, all that. You hear me? Yeah, y'all need to tune in to him, man. That's a real soldier, man. For real. Salute you, man. All facts, King Coke, you hear me? 
For real. Once again, I appreciate that love and support. And salute you too, family, man, for the 21K on this video, man. And, uh, man, you got to contribute that and attribute that to nothing but yourself, man. Your hard work and dedication to what you're doing. Much love and respect, homie, for real. Got off of watching you talk about on that. I went to YouTube, I think I was on. Yeah. Try you running you hear me about uh, who they want to see the interview first, you hear me? I sent some, I post some 100s on that, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean? A million views? I don't be tripping, cause I'm gonna tell y'all like this, anything I said, I meant that. Anything I said, I can bag it up, you hear me? And I got evidence, you hear me? And I get on the black and, and, uh, and put business out there, you hear me? So, don't come playing with me, cause you, what just happened to you, you hear me? Whatever happened on the street when you touch down, it's gonna happen to you. My boy said King Cole instead of King K.O., but it's all good, man. I still felt the love, and I still appreciate the support. Like, real talk, you know, uh, real ones always going to link up. Real ones always going to collab and come together. So this interview that's coming up, man, I can't wait for it, man. I just appreciate the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, you know, to lock in. But, yeah, man, uh, as you guys can see, you know, he also went on to basically state that, you know, he doubling down on anything he said, because anything he said, he really meant anything he said. So y'all check out what he said back then. Some five booty holes told him. Yeah, he didn't tell y'all about that mop, huh? He just told y'all about the thumb. Come on, man. I'm in Baghdad, BR. And while your partner got this booty took in jail. Yeah, and put a broom in that bar. Yeah, he gonna be walking up. Oh, don't worry. They got some more brooms in that. Waiting for the rest of y'all, too, though. So y'all better go on lockdown or some Yeah, man, I ain't got nothing to do with none of that, you hear me? Just keep me up, hit me up about the interview, man. That's about to see you. can't receive a message from me. And I appreciate you guys. Can't receive a message? Man, I'm finna hit you. I'm about to get out. I'm on your page right now, fam. How that can come? Man, my boy, uh, as you can see, man, he hopped off the page, man, and DM me, tapped in with me. You know, we got everything locked in and ready to go. You know, I just appreciate that, man, like real talk. But what he was saying, that was all truth. So, and, and, and in other words, what I took for what he was saying, and y'all can have y'all own opinions on it, but overall, man, watch what you sign up for. You know what I'm saying? Watch who you sign yourself up with and what you get yourself involved in. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, behind them walls, you, there is dudes back there who will take take your booty hole. You're playing too much. You know what I'm saying? That's what I caught from the other little clips. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of who y'all think it was to and who y'all think he was talking about, still take the message in, you know, the overall message uh, in for yourself. Take something from that and look at it like, you know what I'm saying, before you sign up for something. You know, uh, make sure you sign up for everything. You can protect yourself when you go behind the walls. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, you got to understand, man, them, uh, them, them little dudes, man, them youngest, man, they, they still they still got a lot of learning to do. You know, they ain't got a lot of connections, you know, within the, you know, on the, on the other tip, you know, with a lot of older fellas. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what you need, man. It ain't always about what you know or what you got. It's about who you know. And when you hit that yard, them dudes in there don't care about what you know and how much money you got. It's about who you know and who can vouch for you. Who can say that you stood on something, you know what I'm saying, and done seen you actually in action. You know, eventually somebody going to want to test you. So you got to stand up to that to that challenge, you know, and do your best to, you know, <laughs> knock that one down. You feel me? But on the cool, let's move on to the next one. And this next one is Tech Partner, you know, and uh, this is uh, one of his partners, case, sir that basically said, Big Brother, no, dude, no. So you just ain't going to wait for me to come back like that dude. Son, I ain't stopped crying yet. I love you with everything in me. If I if I ain't riding with Cole Black, then I'm riding with Cole Weezy. That's all I know. You know what I'm saying? And this guy right here, you know, sent this out. You know, this is one of his. 
want to text partners who passed away his partner vouching and validating the fact that you know coco passed away you know what i'm saying so uh yeah man this is this is just an ugly 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 situation you know for the whole spider gang you know spider nation you know what i'm saying and uh you know uh taking main music you know um it's just a sad thing to see man we 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 hate to see them taking losses like we explained in the last videos and these are just a couple more pictures of them you know what i'm saying we 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 don't like to see that when these these boys is trying to create a route you know to bring them and their peoples up out of the hood you know bring them and their peoples up out of the bad situation you know and just to see them dropping like flies and you know and still losing their lives i know this is something that really takes a toll on them you know being behind bars for main music and also you know being on top for tech and not being able to pull all his peoples out of this situation and for those of you who don't believe that this is one of their partners uh, if you look very closely within this pic you'll see tech in the back i mean not tech my bad y'all i mean main music in the back sitting right back there in that back seat and i apologize man i had to put the black box over him because he was holding it glicky and i can't really show that in the video otherwise you know youtube would try to limit stuff so you know i had to go ahead and mark that one out but yeah that's tech back there in that hoodie right there you know the black you know, super uh, blurple dude right there, of course. <laughs> Free that man, Measy, man. Free that man, main music. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But yeah, man, it's just another few pictures of him. You know, I'm just show y'all, make sure y'all know it so y'all familiar with it. You know, go spam that man, tech uh, inbox, you know, and let him know, you know, you rocking with him and that you got love and support for him if you really rocking with him and his whole movement and what he got going on. Make sure you really there, man. Be a real fan and supporter, you know, support all the way around, you feel me? You know, we authentic when it comes to this family. You know, we're going to support, you know, always 100-100. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Coco. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag free gold. Drop that for me. Free my little brother gold life. You know what I'm saying? And uh, free Fred O'Bang. Free that man, Lil Yoshi. You know what I'm saying? Free ma free my guy, Spinner Mitch. Free that man's Boulevard Sleepy. Free the landlord, Cleasy 5. You know what I'm saying? And free all the rest of the guys, you know, locked down behind them bars, man, doing that time. You know, go ahead and bring them men home, man. We all know they, they ain't did nothing wrong. You feel me, fella? But, yeah, let's move on to the next one. And next up, we got Fat Chapo, and he sends out, you know, a creator mode message. Basically says, uh, you know, uh, dang, uh, but, you know, the other words, so can't really say that on here you know with a little heartbreak emoji and the crying tears you know to let us know that something's going on you know within with him you know and then uh basically you know he goes on well something's going on with his aunt and ultimately it's hurting him but then he goes on to pretty much talk about you know uh what is actually hurting him and clarifying the situation a little bit more for us you know what i'm saying uh shout out to that man fat chopo man hopefully you know he if things get better you know what i'm saying but uh pretty much you know he he shares a picture of his uncle and his his grandfather and it says herbert senior and herbert jr my paw paw and unc now y'all back together watch over me and hold me a spot up there so he shows us exactly what's going on with him you know exactly what he's going through you know his uncle ultimately passed away you know what i'm saying and uh this is a sad sad thing you know what i'm saying for him you know also this is another situation where support is needed you know if you're a real fan or a real supporter step up and show this man some love you know what i'm saying make sure you tap in with fat chapo and making sure that you know his mental health is in a good place you know a good uh state of stability you know at the end of the day man um uh, if you say you rock with him, show show that. You know what I'm saying? Show that. You know, even if you don't open the message, you know, spam his uh spam his inbox with some love, man. Spam his inbox with some support. We know, I know, you know, when I'm going through it, I could definitely use this. You know, y'all, as y'all know, I done lost a few people on the channel and shared it with y'all. And every time I have, man, it, it definitely helps the journey. It definitely helps to get on here and see, you know, so many people got my back and so many people actually actually want to see, you know, uh me in great spirits, you know what I'm saying? I feel the real love, you know, every time I get on here, you know, with a real problem and, and y'all tend to kick back that love, man. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I ain't used to. So, uh, you know, feeling that, man, that's that's 100. And I know that's something that definitely help him. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, man, if you rocking with him, show that love. But, yeah, he also goes on to say this also for his aunt. Uh, pretty much uncle left me the same day my brother got married crazy but i smile to hide the pain and stand on all 20 at all times you couldn't walk a mile in these size 13s well-dressed gentlemen i mean hashtag well-dressed gentlemen hashtag clean up nice hashtag tag free the guys 
and hashtag long live my gorillas you know so even in his uh time of pain you know he's still showing love and support to you know the people you know that he loved and all his guys you know locked away such as fredo bang lit yoshi you know and all the rest of the guys you know from the tvg camp and everybody else we don't know about and also showing love you know to the ones his partners that passed away all of the gorillas you know what i'm saying one thing we don't mention about fat chapo is fat chapo smart you know and he looking pretty sharp right here man go dead and do your thing man do your thing man got the tux on and whatnot you know, hopefully that was for his brother's wedding and not for, you know, a bad occasion while I'm, you know, talking like that. But on the cool, uh, one thing we don't mention when it comes to Fat Chapo is, you know, the selflessness of uh, Fat Chapo. He cares more about, you know, the whole goal that they came together to try to create or, well, are creating, you know what I'm saying, TBG as a group, uh, more than himself, more than, you know, what the public image of him is and also you know the pain that he's going through right now losing his uncle you know what i'm saying he cares more about seeing you know his peoples his gorillas make it to you know that elite status to the top spot in the game and staying relevant than you know what he's going through denying his own feelings for the greater cause you know what i'm saying and that's a real one you know like i stated so many times every time we talk about fat chopper y'all remember how Everybody else, all these blogs, all these people in the world that don't know nothing about these situations tried to blame Flat, Fat Chopper for what happened to G Money. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, even, uh, well, we don't know, so I ain't going to speculate that. But so many people try to blame Fat Chopo that was outside of the situation for what happened Money. to G Money. And he never really acknowledged it. He never fed into none of the BS. You know, he kept pushing like he was supposed to. Fat Chopo is a real one, regardless of what you say. But yeah, let's move on. And next up, we got that boy One Thiezy. And it wouldn't be a video without my boy One Thiezy. One Thiezy goes on to say, I'm a grave digger. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm a made, you know what? Go ask Glock 23 from 600 about me with a gorilla motion. You know, big facts, big facts. One Thiezy, the big stepper. Hopefully, we're going to get him on the channel soon, too, man. You know, him and him and Baton Rouge Slim, that would be an elite combo of interviews. No cap. But before we get up out, get off of uh, the whole music tip, I do want to touch on my boy DC One Fly. And I know he's not a musician, he's a comedian, but I respect the things that DC Young Fly does for rappers, you know, and artists, you know, uh, on his platform. He gives artists a huge amount of exposure, especially if they're talented, on his platform, allowing them to do these. Uh, these talent shows basically that he does almost every time he's on live which is like every other day you know he's doing a talent show and giving people this free promotion with millions and millions of followers you know so millions of people are seeing their music his music shout out they you know youtube channels instagrams wherever they streaming their music at you know uh they hold a record label as a con conglomerate whatever you know what i'm saying and uh actually think about it millions of followers on his instagram imagine how many of them think you know the music is good and if dc young fly says good nine times out of ten you know the sheeple on his instagram gonna follow so you know what i'm saying just imagine what that does for your career getting that type of exposure that is something i definitely respect from this man you know what i'm saying like he don't have to do this man he could be charging so all these people so much money you know just to be here it's like a virtual free concert that he's giving away for free absolutely no fee you know might need to go ahead and call that thing dc's got talent you know dc's people's got talent but shout out to that man for that you know that's a real 100 move and a real solid way to give back to the people but yeah, let's go ahead and move over to sports right quick. And in sports, man, as we all know, that man's, your Danish school guys, is a bad, bad man. That's a bad, bad man. In the old grandpa voice. You know, I try to use my old grandpa voice right there. That man pulled, not to me, the unthinkable, because, you know, we called this one. We most definitely delivered and made us look good. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we appreciate you for that, my boy. Like 100, 100. But on the cool, that man, Earl Spence Jr. And I apologize if y'all hear some noise in the background. My kids is going crazy, man. They always do this when I'm trying to record. But that man's Earl Spence Jr. 
You know, like we talked about this a couple days ago, your Danis Uga showed them the utmost respect and love. But now they're going into a super mega showdown. But in all honesty, Earl Spence Jr. is still upset because he was eyeing, you know, that legacy fight from Manny Pacquiao. And yes, you know, him beating the, the person who beat is a great win, an amazing win. But as we all know, that win is already getting downplayed by the media. They saying that Manny Pacquiao had a shoulder injury. And they just going to say that, you know, he was an old man. So they're going to take that away from your Dennis Ugas. So that one's not really going to be something to be credited on your Dennis Ugas' record. So when... Or Earl Spence Jr. beats Ugas, which the consensus was already that, you know, uh, Earl Spence Jr. was going to win. And that just, that's just black, that's like, that's just messed up, you know, to do towards uh, uh, your Danish. Y'all see, I was almost used to finna use Stephen A's blasphemy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's just, it's crazy, man. Ugas is in a uh, top 10, top 5, my bad, welterweight in the world. And he's disrespected. But that's still going to be a great win. But next up, man, I just wanted to re-show y'all these pictures of Shea signing that big contract because y'all know I'm a Thunders fan, so I got to go ahead and rub it in y'all face. You know, especially my boy Marcus who said that Shea was going to L.A. He here to stay. Don't get that twisted. And then I also wanted to show y'all, you know, uh, this man, Darius Baisley's uh, body transformation, you know, how much weight he's putting on in the offseason, how much he's growing. You know, that man definitely putting on some size, man. Big ups to him and keep working, youngie, for real. Don't ever stop. You know, keep on your grind. You know what I'm saying? Do what you know you're supposed to be doing and make it to be that NBA superstar that I know you can be. I got the utmost faith in this youngin' and I feel like he got superior talent to most actually give him credit for it which is messed up but yeah man on that note i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here make sure y'all like subscribe share these videos do all that show your boy some love tune in to that uh that uh interview coming from you know what i'm saying my boy baton Royal slim shout out to him once again and also the hard body d uh interview coming but yeah man with that being said i'm out believe it